there, everybody! It's so, Barton and I Tiger Hammer, and welcome back to Dongan Romba, another episode. Now, then, in the last episode, we managed to make it to Toa Tower. In a rather long episode, I like to think. And we come across a new individual uh, whose name still has not been released yet. I don't know this man, but after thinking about it, I feel like he's probably related to Chihiro. Now, now here's my reasoning on this. He seemed to have some sort of... That's a little dance you're doing there. He seemed to have some sort of, like, freaking knowledge about, uh, you know, computers, I guess. Or maybe he was just... Or maybe he's just smart with computers and he was just, you know, typing rapidly on a freaking laptop or something. But could you stop doing that? C could you stop? Sir? Sir? Thank you. Anyway, as I was saying, he, he seems to have some sort of intelligent... He seems to have some sort of knowledge when it comes to computers. I get, oh, God. Freaking... Ugh! Focus up with that camera angle. I don't know. I think he's Chihiro's dad, or just... Because I, I don't think that he's related to Byakuya. Mostly because he just seems like a nice guy, and I'm getting the, I'm getting the impression that the, the person who's related to Byakuya is a cocky asshole. If I had to, you know, gander, I guess. All right, I'm just gonna do one quick look around before I head to the ele I mean, before I actually go to said elevator, just to double check to make sure that there's nothing around here. Just double checking. Anything pop up behind here? No, it doesn't look like it. Any children at all? No? Okay. Hmm. As expected of Toa City. They're using the newest security systems out there. This is gonna be tough. Can you do it? But you can do it, right? Please? Please tell me you can do it. This city's kinda freaky as fuck. Yeah. I'll do my best. That's a pretty vague answer. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's true. <laughs> My family used to think I was pretty unreliable, too. Really? Family, huh? Oh. Uh, you guys, we just started. You don't have to get depressed right away. <laughs> you're right. Yeah. All right, I'll try. I wish to know your name, good sir. Okay. I leave it to you. I mean, why the fuck haven't we exchanged names? Oh. So, how's it coming? Cutscene. Yeah, well, it might take a little while, but with this, I might be able to do it somehow. Don't worry, no need to rush. Nothing really dangerous is happening right now. You just jinxed us. Uh, are you done yet? Please hurry! <laughs> Hold on! I barely got started. Oh God, junk what do we Monokuma! Do? Isn't it obvious? We gotta deal with them somehow. Why are there so many of them? We're done for. If they surround us. Keep your distance and fight. Fuck off. But we have to protect him too. Fuck off. Oh yeah. Ah, I was hoping for another headshot, but I guess not. Mm, yeah. That works. Are you done yet? That works too. Wait, just a bit more. I got the coins. Mm, boom. And boom. <laughs> Yay! I did it. Looks like it. I'm almost done on my end, too. Oh, holy shit, you got it to work! Yeah, yeah it totally worked! Toko, <sighs> all we gotta do now is use the elevator to go all the way to the top, right? The, the, that's right. Before Please. we go any further, I really need to thank you guys. Don't set off the death thank flags, man. You, girls. I'm finally starting to see hope. If the connection works well, oh, I'm God. sure Future Foundation will come to us immediately. 
And when that happens, we're oh, saved. Oh no, I can we're hear it. Saved. We should even be able to see our families again. You are fucking setting off so many dead flags. It's gonna be all right. Just a little bit more. Let's keep it up, man. No, no, fuck! Oh my, fuck! Oh come on! Oh. Fuck off! You're gonna die. Oh my, what the. Oh. oh! Fucking spirit bomb, what the fuck? Okay. That. Oh god. I. I'm oh! Sorry. It's just as I thought. I really am unreliable. I I did so many I I can't cop I I don't have time to process everything I just did there but now I'm sad again. What, oh my god. I I didn't mean to make you guys go it alone. God, you just fucking killed him. Why? But you guys will be fine. No need to worry. You'll be saved for sure. I'm glad I could at least be a little help to you guys. God. I have a child, you know. You guys are all around the same age. Uh. But we got separated and... And all this time, I couldn't do anything. I... I wasn't able to see. Just one last time. That's my only regret. Uh. God, why this fucking- I just started recording! Ugh. There's no point in staying here anymore. God! Yeah. Is this a handbook? Oh. There's a picture inside. Oh. So this is his child, huh? What a cute girl. Uh. Separated from his family. Same as me. God! Mm. Damn it, I knew it. Ugh. He was probably worried about his family. Worried until the very end. <sighs> I hope his child is doing well, at least. Fuck! <sighs> hey, Omaru. Yeah, I know. I don't want to die separated from my family. I need to see them again. So I'm not just going to sit here. This man sacrificed himself for us. <sighs> Let's go, Toko. As long as Future Foundation comes, we and everyone else are going to be saved. <sighs> That's not what I wanted to do. <sighs> Damn it. Hey, Omaru. Got a second? What? Uh, um, about Future Foundation. God, what now? Looks like the elevator stopped. Why? Why here? Let's just force open the door. That would probably be our only option at this point. Yeah. Oh. Huh. 
pretty easily, I guess. Wait, what? No! Oh my god, I missed some. Why'd you guys run here? This is clearly the end of the episode, and I and I missed out on some. Oh my god, no! Uh, damn it! And I thought I was looking everywhere. Well, damn it! Did you think you could escape if you went somewhere real high up? But no matter where you run, it's pointless. The more you run from me, the closer you get. Cause the world is round, right? Yeah! I knew it. You were waiting for us. So? How did it feel to have someone waiting for you? Were you even more grossed out? Or, or maybe, do you hate me even more now? Seriously, what the fuck did your parents do to you, kid? Well, like I said, I already hate you enough. No, that's a lie. When adults look at things they truly hate, their eyes are not weak like that. I know it. I've seen those eyes since the day I was born. Okay, here we go. Don't tell me. The reason you hide your face is because of some trauma or something. That or his parents were assholes. Well, not that it matters. I'm just curious. Yeah, to be honest, I'm curious too. About how horrible your face looks. No, you can't see anything but that. I don't know what the way you're talking. It makes me think there's actually nothing wrong with your face. If you see my face, your eyeballs are gonna rot off. Okay, yeah, seriously, it's getting to the point where I'm thinking that you're just wearing that because I'm starting to think that there really is nothing wrong with your face. It's just that you were told that this whole time, and you forced yourself to cover yourself up like that. There you go, making no sense again. No! You're wrong! It's the truth! They're really gonna burn right off! If they don't, then... Then why did she force me to wear this mask? Oh! His mother forced him to wear that mask? Why, though? I mean... Uh... Why? Why was I forced to wear this stuffy mask every single day? What the? I'm just that horrible. I'm just so ugly and hated more than anyone else on Earth. Your mother forced you to wear that mask, and you've got this idea that you are just, that you're ugly and all that. But why would the mother force the child to wear the mask? I mean, if there's nothing wrong with their face, it makes no sense for them to have to wear it. Was the mother so reviled to look at her own son to force him to wear that mask? In which case, that bitch deserves to die? But, just, why? I bet my head just got really twisted because the doctor pulled too hard when I was born. And then, my skin pores got all crushed, and my hair got ripped, and my face got pulled. And my ears are just barely sticking to my face like meatloaf thrown up onto a wall. Ew. And my lips are inside out, and my gums are dry and rotten and brown. Considering your teeth look white, and your mouth looks, well... And anime standards normal? No. And my nose is just a shriveled little lump of meat. But hey, aren't all noses like that? It must be horrible. That's why she was ashamed to show me to people. You don't look like other kids. That must be what she was talking about. 
You don't look like other kids. Hmm. If you see such an awful face, your eyeballs are gonna get crushed and you'll faint. So that's why I'm not wrong! I'm totally, totally right! Jeez, I just mentioned the subject and you totally went off the handle there. Yeah. Meaning you basically just want revenge against the adults who made you suffer, right? Probably. Huh? Just mistaken. What? It's not something cheap and silly like that. We just want to change the world. That's all. We <laughs> don't really have to understand. Demons aren't needed in our world anyway. It's fine. Fine for fine for fine. We're gonna make a kid only paradise. <laughs> What the? Why are they booing him? Why are you all booing? See, even he's surprised. K Kamaru, you okay? Unforgivable. Whoa. No matter what kind of reason you have, whether you're an adult or a child, you killed people. So many people. Like it was nothing. And I'll never forgive that! Ever! Whoa! That's it! Those are the eyes I was talking about! The eyes that just scream hatred! <laughs> Big sis! <laughs> Looks like you're finally disgusted by me for real! <laughs> Why the hell do you guys keep calling her Big Sis? But I don't know about what you said. Comparing likes and dislikes and good and evil. I mean, we're trying to bring peace to the world, you know? A really distorted peace. That's why there's nothing wrong with us. No matter how much you hate us, we aren't wrong! What are you... A despair-induced child? You kill people and laugh about it and say that you aren't the ones in the wrong? Unforgivable! What the? Huh? Why? Why are you all cheering for the enemy? That's a damn good question. Oh, I guess it's that. I'm even hated by the kids, too. But don't you like being hated? Which is really fucked up, honestly. Ah! <laughs> See? They hate me. They really hate me. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> oh, there it is. If I'm hated this much, then there's no point in faking friendships and trying to be liked. <laughs> Oh. I'm free to do anything I want. Oh. Oh boy. Let us see what your gigantic robo looks like. I guess these guys must be the new Gundam Meisters. <laughs> oh! Holy crap! Uh. Priest Robot Dr. Van Gur I didn't read that one. Before your bodies become pretty objects, let me tell you one more time. No matter how much we're hated, no matter how much we're shunned, we're definitely not wrong. That's the real truth. Because Big Sis Junko said so. Oh. Big Sis Junko? Big Sis Junko, the only one who loved me, the only one different than other people. Big Sis Junko, the one who gave us our sparkly hope. Those adults who took her away from us and said that she was the bad one. 
They're the filthy ones. They're the ugly ones. The disgusting ones! <laughs> okay. If I win the demon hmm. hunting, I think Monica would be oh, 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 God. disappointed. Uh, I'm guessing I'm gonna need knockback for this one. I drink day old cocoa and have oh, yeah, hey, I called it. Like a yeah. piece of I can't see the weak point on this oh, one. Oh damn it! The frick, Togo, you okay? The bomb. Is there some way we can repel it? You're right. I totally forgot. Boom, motherfucker! Oh, the top of the head. Okay, That's when you guys told me to do this, I need to see it. Oh my god, he's doing the war- oh my god. Okay, not gonna lie, that was totally worth it. When you guys told me I need to start shooting the dance at these guys. The one, the one, oh fuck! Okay. My stipulation is if I am down to- If I run down to one health, I have to use Genocide Jack, okay? But I'm gonna try to beat it with, like, legit as possible. There. The fucking freak! That was an accident. Oh. Okay. I'm at full health. Even cut up into pieces. You'd make such you know, I was hoping that would work, but I guess I'm not allowed to be that level. Boom, motherfucker! No way the warriors of hope will lose to a demon. Ultimate attack! No. You know, I swear, I thought I hit him. Goodbye. Alright! I did it! Uh, bye, Mr. Priest. Uh, oh fuck. Never mind. You blew yourself up, boy. And oh god, the children are going to come. Oh god! And oh god, I'm actually oh god, they're actually gonna pull the fucking thing off. All right, show your. Nope, he's dead. There was nothing wrong with him. There was fucking nothing wrong with him. But his mother made him wear that mask. Was it because he was too What in the world is this? Was it because he was too fucking pretty for a child or something? The fuck? Oh. You're still pretty angry. Serves him right. Whoa! Holy sh Kamaru! Good lord! What did you say? Let's go, Toko. Uh. Um. Okay. Hmm. Kamaru's turning a little. Uh, um. Evil, I guess. No, not evil, but uh. That didn't seem to bother her as much. Not sure if I should be worried. I am pretty pissed off that I actually missed out on quite a few items. And the kids' stickers things. Damn it, I thought I was being thorough. Deck. We're at the top. 
Looks like it. All we gotta do now is use this wireless device that Shirakuma gave us. Toko, what is it? Um, I've been thinking about this for a while, and contacting Future Foundation is... Toko. I know, I know, I should hurry up with it, right? Uh, no, I didn't mean that. What are you so worried about? Oh shit, anime cutscene. I'll take it. What happened, <gasps> Toko? What? Because you can't do anything, I'm setting it up for you. Just wait a minute, will you? Oh, sorry. All right, here you go. Feature Foundation Skype. Hello? Can you hear me? Someone please respond! Can you hear me? <laughs> hey, answer me! Can anyone hear me? Kamara, it's still connecting. I beg you, please answer me! <laughs> Looks like it didn't work. Well, that's just too bad. We should... Uh, probably give up for now. Hello? Oh, this is Foundation. <gasps> this is Future Foundation. Oh. Hello? Can Makoto? We can hear you. Loud and clear. This is Future Foundation. Branch number. Branch number 14. Huh? Makoto. Naeki. <laughs> oh, well, what are the odds of that? Yeah, I only managed to find three out of five of them. I missed the last two. God dang it. I'm pissed off that I missed them. Three retries. I got all... Uh... Mm. Well... Well, let's see how bad this fantasy is going to be again. Oh, God. Oh, God, not again. Why the hell am I here again? Oh, fuck! Hmm. I figured you'd be able to do this well. As expected of the woman I acknowledge. Uh... Uh... I'm never gonna get used to these Toko fantasies, ever. Chapter 2, Legend of the Revolution. And I'm still pissed at myself that I missed those last two, though. Yeah, I'll save my pride. The mask was a thing on its own. I'm gonna save in a different slot. Chapter 3 Cute Girls Battlefield Let me guess, Kotoko. She's going to be my main opponent, if I had to guess. M Makoto! Eh, this is awkward, ain't it? Kamaru, is that really you? And the sound quality improved dramatically. I knew it, you're... you're Makoto, right? Mr. Makoto Naegi, right? Mister? My question exactly. You're safe. I'm so relieved. I was worried the whole time. Same here. I wish I knew you were all right. I mean, I thought you had already died. Oh, Makoto, I'm so glad you're alive. I'm glad too, Komaru. I thought I'd never see you again. Mm. But I'm relieved to find out you're safe. Yeah. Hey, what about Dad and Mom? Are they with you? I'd hope so. Huh? I see. Then you don't know either. Oh. I was hoping that you would. You mean you guys haven't found them yet? Then you don't know either. But, but... It's gonna be alright. 
don't worry. I'm sure they're just fine, wherever they are. Uh, but what? you have no proof of that. They could be... There's no proof they're not okay either. So let's just believe in hope for now. Ah, uh, there's the power of his hope boner. Yeah, if you say so. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> it's funny. I never thought I'd hear you say something like that. Really? Well, being positive is like my only good point. What? But more importantly, where are you right now? What's going on over there? I I'm at a building called Toa Tower. I, I was told I could use the communication device here. Oh, wait, that reminds me. Why are you answering? Yeah, he's part of Future Foundation. Surprise! What do you mean by that? I mean, I called Future Foundation. Why are you the one who responded? You... you really don't know? Yeah, because Toko didn't tell her anything. Don't know? About what? I'm with Future Foundation, Branch 14. That's my division. Toko, is this true? Toko? Wait, what? Toko is there with you? <laughs> you didn't know? <laughs> what? You got a problem with that? You disappeared. Everyone was so worried about you. <laughs> worried? Like anyone would actually care if an intern went missing. You know I would never stay behind on a mission like this. Especially with Master going. So you tagged along without orders. Well, I figured that was pretty much what happened. <laughs> Wait, hold on. You two know each other? Oh yeah, we both participated in a school killing trip where we basically tried to kill each other and survive. Wait, what? That's why Toko knew about me from the beginning? Yeah, she... didn't tell you that? She told me jack shit! Oh, <laughs> sorry. Did I not? No! No, you very much didn't! <laughs> yeah, that sounds like Toko. Anyway, I'm glad you two are together. I'm just with her because I have no choice. Your whiny little sister balls when she's alone. So basically, I'm just a babysitter. I guess this will prepare me for my future with Master. Yeah, whatever helped you sleep at night. Hey, hey, I wasn't bawling. Don't listen to her, Makoto. <laughs> so, where is Byakuya? Probably dead. Wait, what? Master is safe. Safe, but captured by the enemy. Just as I thought. Future Foundation's intel said as much. I just didn't believe it. I mean, Byakuya? Captured? And I'm gonna have to side with Toko on this. They would have probably had to have ambushed him. He was pr probably taken by surprise by some fiendish cowards. There's no other way. I mean, he may be an asshole, but... I guess he's good at what he does. Ugh. The son of the noble Togami family brought to the position of a mere hostage. Sounds like the situation is pretty serious. So serious, the world is gonna collapse. The ultimate affluent progeny is in danger. Ultimate? Oh, good lord, don't even know about the ultimates, oh, do you? Oh, yeah. Byakuya, Toko, and I were all classmates at Hope's Peak. Wait. Whoops. You... How the hell do I disable auto? No, I didn't. Well, now's the time for your brother to explain it. Here's your chance. Now you can show off your utter lack of presence with your brother complex. Uh, I do not have a brother complex. I don't really know where to start. We weren't just regular classmates. We were trapped inside Hope's Peak Academy during the tragedy. I figured it out. We were forced to kill each other. Our classmates. Kill? A lot of our classmates ended up killing each other right in front of our eyes. Okay, thank you for finally explaining to freaking Komaru. Even after all this time, the memory, the despair, I can still feel it. It wasn't just some movie or game? No, the game is actually the second game. It wasn't a movie, it was reality. It actually happened. And it was all broadcast live as part of the tragedy. 
The mastermind behind it all wanted to spread despair throughout the world. They wanted to show the whole world. The students of Hope's Peak Academy, the symbols of hope, falling to despair and death. Well, no chiming in with a remark this time? Well, to be fair, it's a pretty crazy situation. But wait, you two are still alive, so... Yeah, we were able to defeat the mastermind who planned the killing game and survive. Of course, we couldn't save everybody. And after that, we left Hope's Peak Academy and went into the outside world. But outside, it was more horrifying than we expected. It was easy to get discouraged. But by supporting each other, the friends who survived hell together, we moved forward. Soon we came under Future Foundation protection. We chose to lend ourselves to the cause. Okay, okay, so that's how they got into Future Foundation, okay. To fight against the remnants of despair, who are still trying to spread despair to the world. And I want to see what they look like. Maybe it's my morbid curiosity, but I want to see what the rest of the remnants of despair look like. I got to see what Nagito looked like. Show me the rest of them! Right, Toko? <laughs> oh, God. Toko, are you crying? Of course I am. Remembering the suffering and heartache. I see. I didn't know about that at all. I never thought something like that was going on. But you guys are so amazing. I gave up immediately, but you guys... You guys fought and confronted the problem. I guess that's why you've changed. No, not really. I was always being saved by everyone else. Hmm. You saying that? Your brother got so hyped up from being declared the ultimate hope. He was always dragging everyone along, so eager about everything. <laughs> hey, I wouldn't say I was hyped about it. Just accept it, you're the ultimate hope and you were hyped about it. Oh, but you don't deny the dragging everyone along part, huh? <laughs> Jeez, take it easy on me. Makoto, you've definitely changed. You too, Komaru? What do you mean? I haven't changed a bit. No, really. You really changed. It might be weird for your little sister to say this, but... You seem more mature now. Just from this conversation, I can tell you're more reliable than you used to be. Well... I don't really think so, though. But me? I haven't changed at all. Not since my imprisonment. Now don't go saying that. You just kicked a lot of freaking Monokuma ass, so don't go start saying that again. Listen, about that. There's something I need to apologize for. Huh? Huh? Apologize? The reason you were in prison there? It's because of us. Okay. Is it because of my theory was correct that they were being used as, you know, the motive? If we weren't chosen by the Mastermind, you wouldn't have ended up like this. It's starting to sound like that. Huh? What do you mean? You aren't the only prisoner in Toa. With you is everyone who is relevant to our classmates. Called it! In order to make us commit murder, the Mastermind abducted people relevant to us and tried to use them as a motive. We managed to stop it before it got that far. But the theme was killing among loved ones. The mastermind was going to force us to watch you kill each other. To make us really lose all hope. The video of you, our family, being abducted was used for motive as well. But that was just the beginning. The mastermind was planning something far more cruel. In the end, the mastermind was swallowed by the despair, and that motive was left unused. But even after that, I was still imprisoned. Probably the doings of the remnants of despair, trying to succeed the mastermind's will. Ah, okay. Because of them, we were totally in the dark about where the captives were being held. But a few days ago, Future Foundation received an anonymous tip 
Oh? We were told captives from the killing game were being held in a certain apartment in Toa City. So that's why Byakuya and the others were at my apartment. Hmm. I wonder who gave that tip. Uh, because of those rioting little brats and their machines. The plan for saving the captives was scrapped. And even Master, the protagonist, was captured. Yes, because I... Wait, oh my god, I forgot how to do my freaking Byakuya voice. Yes, because I'm Hello. the main character You've of the story. You've already heard the ones causing the riots here are Monokumas, right? So, did you figure out what the deal is with these Monokumas yet? No, we still haven't figured that out. Damn it. Huh? Jeez, Future Foundation's useless. The Monokuma riot starting at the exact same time as the rescue operation. Strange. Clearly it was planned by someone. And I can I, I can automatically suspect possibly Nagito, but what would be his gain? What I mean, what would he gain from setting this all up? Like I said, it's no coincidence. It's conspiracy. Someone's setting up Future Foundation. Then that would mean the tip was a trap, using the captives as bait to lure us there. The captives aren't just bait. They're targets for the massacre game the brats are playing. Massacre game? Yeah! Instead of it being a school where people kill each other, now it's going to be an entire fucking city where people kill each other. Well, kids kill each other. Or kill, kids kill adults. They make hunting and killing the captives part of their little game to taunt us. Wait, does that mean the captives are the ones wearing wristbands like mine? Yep. Then... Yuda and Hiroko and that man with the computer, they're, they're all captives? Yes, they're people close to us. People who were imprisoned in Toa, just like you. Komaru, what you just said, is it true? You're involved in this massacre game too? Yeah, they put a wristband on me and now I'm being chased by these weird kids. That's... And one of the brats who started this sick game said something interesting earlier. Yeah, the bit about Big Sis Junko. Something about Big Sis Junko. Junko? You mean Junko and Oshima? God, that name just sends shivers down my spine. Junko and Oshima? She's the mastermind behind the school... No, she's the mastermind behind the tragedy itself. And she has huge boobs. What? Big boobs, too? <laughs> really? That's the detail you decide to add on to it? Junko and Oshima is known as the true ultimate despair. She was our former classmate. But didn't you say earlier that you already defeated the Mastermind? Yes, Junko and Oshima is dead. But it seems her memory is still alive and well. Even in death, Junko and Oshima continues to influence the remnants of despair. She's become a martyr to them. Now she's even more trouble than when she was alive. It's like they worship her. Like some big-chested despair goddess or something. We did defeat her at Hope's Peak Academy, but... Well, lately, I've been thinking. She must have foreseen this possibility from the very beginning. What, is she fucking psychic? Listening to you guys is... I just can't believe it's all real. Yes, her big boobs are indeed real. N not that deep. Oh, God damn it, Toko. No, not that part. But I get why you think this is all just fiction. Crazy kids are killing adults, you know? Which actually raises a question. How the hell do you know that her boob, her big boobs are real? Yeah. Things are just so messed up here. Actually, I don't want to know the answer to that question. Makoto, hurry up and get over here. Because of the wristband, I can't get out of the city. If I leave without permission, it blows. But Future Foundation can remove the wristband, right? So please come save me. Kamaru. <laughs> You can't. Why? Huh? I, I can't... Can't what? 
Why do you think they're holding Master hostage? They don't want Future Foundation to interfere. You're bringing this up now? Oh my god, that's why you didn't want to get in contact with Future Foundation. Like taking hostages during a bank robbery. Master Byakuya is being used as a deterrent. M meaning, if Future Foundation came to this city, Master would be... Then Future Foundation won't come save us? Then what am I supposed to do? Keep kicking Monokuma ass and destroy those kids? Didn't I already tell you? There's no other way. You have to fight against those kids. Yeah, Toku's got the right idea. Get rid of them, and you can save yourself and Master. <laughs> That's impossible! We just took down two gigantic freaking Gundam-style robots. Stop saying it's impossible! No, it isn't. You have Master's gun, and I'm with you too. But, but I... I can't take this anymore! I just can't do it anymore! I'm not from Future Foundation, or Hope's Peak. I'm just a normal girl who can't do anything! Stop calling yourself that! Kamaru! Makoto, please! I'm begging you! Come save me! Hurry, please! I told you, you can't! If they come here to rescue you, Master will be executed! Makoto, you better not come, if you even try it. I... I will... I will kill your sister! Okay, that's quite the threat. Kill? Toko, calm down! Oh god, now... Makoto! Fuck. M Makoto! Hey! What happened? They must have noticed that we were trying to contact them, so they must have... Uh, either increased the frequency of the jamming signal, or they just cut the power or something. <laughs> No, it can't be. That must mean they found us. Probably. Uh. Oh, no. What? They're going to trap us. We gotta hurry and get out of here. But I haven't finished talking to my brother. The signal's lost, girl. We can't get through anymore. And it doesn't matter anyway, no matter how much you talk. As long as Master is in their custody, Future Foundation cannot come to this town. But if it's Makoto... Oh, what? fuck. Look out! Oh, God. T toko Bitch Black? What is going on now? Toko, calm down! Don't panic! Uh... Taking too many deep breaths. That's it. Just oh, lightheaded. Oh, please don't faint on me. Yeah, she's panicking. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. We just gotta get out of here. Hurry or I'll stretch your cheeks out like rubber. Oh god, anything but that. Got it. <laughs> okay, oh. God, what the... Uh... Um, hmm, I have an idea. Uh, that didn't work. I was hoping that this thing could be used to kind of, like, look around. But I guess not. Go, don't faint. This will come in handy. Well, at least it's gonna be a bit brighter now. How the that little brat? I'm I'm sure she knows how to get out of this place. Let's try following her footprints. How is that holding up? Oh! I did have the right idea. I just had to wait for a cutscene. Paint. The hacking gun can see it, right? How the hell is that sticking to your skirt? I need to know this for reasons. 
What happened to the glowy thing? There was clearly a glowy thing I could... <sighs> I'm not allowed to be happy, am I? Uh... Okay. Dark! So dark! Let me out already! 120, hot diggity damn! Okay. Oh. That surprised me. I thought it was a Monokuma. Technically it was a Monokuma, but... Oh, oh come on! Okay. Aha! Hello there! Masaru Daibon! Alright. Able to tell it's dark anymore. I fucking see you. Die. But <laughs> it's a cat. It's a fucking cat. That's a very fat cat. Neko Nekomaro. Real name: Grand Boy Sherry Ludenburg. Celeste, the most the, per the individual that was most pre that was most precious to you, was your cat. You know what? I have no problem with this. It's cute on the outside, but inside it's all slimy and yucky. If you let your guard down, and get too close, it'll eat you. Lure it out with gyoza food and burn it to ash with a fire attack. That that's a little hitting too close to home to how the, the, this cat's owner is dead. It might look like a cat, but cat food doesn't work. So pick the right food. Toa Public Hall. Huh. Oh, there was a little warning that told me that. <laughs> I can hear a Monokuma. There she is. Let's be careful. What the fuck are you doing? Okay. Hmm. Ooh, shiny. Monica. The fuck? Jeez, I don't know. Oh god. Okay, let's just take a minute to process that. I just shot him in the eye, hmm. in the dark. Okay. You know, and if more if more shooter games were like this, where I didn't have to worry about it being like, you know, first person, I'd be happier and I'd be probably playing those more. <sighs> I'm tired of this. I should go inside the washing machine and get some sleep. Okay. Uh, hold on. I thought I saw something walking around there, but whatever. Gotcha! Got you. No! you! I bet you know exactly where the exit is, right? T -t Tell me! You kid. <laughs> Wait, hold up. Oh fuck. God 
Damn it! Toko. Hey, Toko. Oh no. You better listen well. Oh god, no! If you wash black clothes too many times, the color fades. But there's a way to combat this. What? It's a simple method. First, do the laundry like you normally would. Okay. Yes, do the laundry like usual. Yes, because this is perfect bedroom talk. But before you rinse it off, add just a little bit of beer to the water. What? Oh yes, I will. I'll add beer, anything. And just like that, faded clothes can be fully restored. Wait, seriously? <gasps> I'm starting to get better at doing laundry. Uh... Please stop. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now I can be the perfect life stopper master. God damn it, Toko! Toko, get a hold of yourself! <laughs> what? What happened? Hey, you just had the weirdest freaking dream. An explosion. What the hell happened to the kid? That brat. She betrayed us. A little more, and I would have blown up. You seem to have a bad history with being blown up by explosives. I don't think she was our ally from the start. No shit. She had a Monokuma hat. Sh shut up. This is your fault. Wait, why is it my fault? Why is it my fault? My question exactly. You're the one who said you wanted to contact Future Foundation, and now this happens. Thanks to you, I got caught in this damn trap. Take some responsibility. Responsibility? <laughs> Ugh, who cares? I don't want to hear your excuses. I just need some light, yeah? Oh, light, more light, more light! Oh, good. Oh. Holy crap. Mm. We can actually see pretty well now. Guess our eyes must have adjusted to the... Oh, over there. The light's coming through. Maybe you can break that part. Mm. Aha! Nighty night! Oh. Oh, I see what I gotta do. Okay, fine. Yes. Now we can get outside. Is there anything else around here? Hello there. Children's Paradise Commandments 3. If you have something on your mind, share it with the children around you. 1. Don't get involved in other people's business, like making fun of them for reading manga. Don't ever try to remember what life was like with the demons. Anybody who breaks the rules will suffer the punishment stuffed under the kotatsu in summer. Sounds kind of harsh. Yes, I know what a kotatsu is. Not to mention, I've kind of always wanted to try a kotatsu. But you can never buy those in America, apparently. Ah, the light! The light! It burns! Are you okay? No, I'm just happy. Well, you didn't have to scream about it. But still, it's good that we're finally outside. But now what do we do? Not to mention how high up are we? Uh, I'm sure there's a way to get down. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't even see down there. You know, I've saw... <laughs> I thought first was like that little red line down there. I, I know it's part of the background, or maybe it's some sort of clipping thing, but I could have swore, like, for a split second, I thought that was like an item. Like, how the hell am I supposed to get over there? Oh, holy shit, there's an item over here. Well, hot damn. Super precision shot. I don't even need to look at that because I can already guess what it does. It dramatically slows down the speed of my reticle shot. Uh, Which. So high up. So scary. If we fall, we'll be squashed into jelly. We have to walk carefully. I'm running. And I found a safe spot. Now then, let's go down. Looks like we can get down with this ladder, but what floor are we on again? 
We never bothered to check, did we? Better than being in the dark. Come on, let's go. Just take your time. Oh no. I hear the music. Jachiro's not coming back, huh? Think he got beat by those two chicks? Well, not like I care. I hate him anyway. Wouldn't that be a good thing considering he likes being hated? Which is a really fucked up mentality. Taro promptly got himself killed. Cut, ground down, crushed and stretched, squashed into paste, burned and eaten. I'd rather not think about that, to be quite honest. Poor little Taro. Even though I hated him. That's crocodile tears. Anyways, Monica... Why are we not holding a funeral this time? A funeral? Oh, that. I got bored of that. Doesn't really matter, we can't even fill the coffin anyway. Well, well, if you got bored of it, guess we don't really have to. Are you getting... Are you starting to ha Don't tell me you're starting to have second thoughts, too. But, um, do you think Jachiro really died? Uh-oh. Hmm? I mean, if he did die, we should have found his body, right? I was just, you know, a teensy bit curious. That's all. I think you probably just triggered Monica. It sounds like you're saying Monica is wrong. Oh, God. Huh? Like I said, you're trying to say Monica is wrong! Christ, kid! You're of wrong aren't the people who put worcester sauce on fried eggs just wrong i can agree with you on this it's so obvious that fried eggs taste best when you drown it in maple syrup right i cannot agree with you on this mm. look i was just a little curious that's all my head's just a little out of place right now is all i'm just a teensy bit curious like about why mailboxes are always white or how enemies become friends right after a fight you don't have to worry about things like that. I, I'm sorry. It's not like I have bad feelings toward Monica or anything. So please, please don't hate me. Keep loving me forever and ever. Ugh, I am really not liking this Monica character, honestly. Yep, yep. I already know that. It's not something to apologize over. I know you're just a sweet, gentle little girl. Why is... Why is gentle highlighted? Huh? Uh... Gentle? Uh... Oh god. Why is that a... Why is gentle... Okay, judging by her animations, I don't... I don't like where this is going. I really don't like what. Please, anything but. Kotoko, you were so cute, as always. Oh God, no! The director, the producer, the sponsors, everybody was super happy. Please no. And now there's another business you have to attend to, and your mom's gonna come with, okay? What? It's going to be all right. Kotoko is just so sweet. Everyone will be gentle with you. <laughs> God, please. You can't be serious. Very, very gentle. Oh, <gasps> God. I'm... I'm really trying my best not to hold back the vom... Trying to hold back the vom... <sighs> God, no! No! I don't want... Gentle! Oh, fucking hell! You fucking whore, you knew that was her triggered word. I'll do anything, please! Just not that! I, I'll do my best with singing and acting! So please! Anything but gentle! Oh, oopsies! I totally forgot.
thought. Gentle is a bad, bad word for Kotoko. Oh, fuck you, you green-haired bitch. Jeez, to make you end up like this. It's as I've always known. Demons are the worst. What would that make you for taking advantage of that? Oh, fuck! How can they be so blind? Blind to their foolishness, ugliness, noxiousness, bad smell, boringness, to their own damnation. Please stop. Even blind to the fact that they scarred Kotoko like this. Fuck. It's okay. Monica won't be gentle. <laughs> Demons are filthy, smelly, ugly chunks of meat, more worthless than dirt. And disgusting, filthy demons deserve a disgusting, filthy death. Fuck! They should all choke on their own poop and suffocate! They should just hold it in and hold it and hold it until their intestines explode! Jeez, Kotoko, that's so gross. Um, what are you guys doing? Ah, oh, it's Nagisa. I am scarred beyond belief right now. Now's not the time for banter. We've got a lot of work to do here. Oh my, oh my. Are you perhaps jealous? W what are you talking about? What do I have to be jealous of? It's not like I'm jealous of you. Is that what you're trying to say? Like I said, it it's not that at all. Hey. What do you mean, jealous? Yeah, Monica! You're so innocent! I could just put whipped cream on you and eat you up! <laughs> I don't get it at all. Uh. And hey, more importantly, you mentioned there was work to be done. Did something happen? Yes, I've received a report from the Monokuma kids I sent scouting earlier. Those two schoolgirl demons are sending a communication from Toa Tower. Don't tell me they're trying to contact that demon society, Future Foundation. It's not a problem. I already scrambled their transmission. Okay, so you're the one that did it. We also have a hostage. Future Foundation can't make a move regardless. And I have a plan. By taking advantage of those two demons, we can massacre all of the remaining free-roaming demons. What do you mean? You mean, the Resistance? Oh god. As long as they exist, our paradise cannot be completed. We should take this opportunity. Amazing! Amazing! I don't really get it, but it sounds super amazing! Well done, Nagisa. Uh... W wait Mata! Hey! Yeah, I just now realized there's like a spinal pattern on the back of Monica's outfit. Huh? What's wrong? It, it's nothing. Just... You, you're a little close to me is all. Aww. You're such a shy boy, Nagisa. No. Your plan. If it works, our paradise can finally be built. How is your chair doing that? And when that happens, the warriors of hope will level up to save you. Hmm. As our new leader, I will continue to have high expectations of you, sir. Y yeah, you're right. High expectations for me. Did you hear that? Our children's paradise of smiles is going to be ready soon. Hey, you're listening, right? Kurokuma? Kurokuma? All right, you can talk now. Oh! Oh wait, you're the black Monokuma from the opening. <laughs> I can finally talk! Finally! Whee! Hi, hi, hi there! Oh my god, that voice. <laughs> That was tough! I shall not be silenced! Not have to keep him quiet for that damn long! 
Oh god, what is your voice? It's even more annoying than the original Monokuma. Damn, even someone extremely good at talking like me is already tired out from running my yap. Then please shut up. It's like the hero is still in its child face, but the warrior alien brother already showed up. That example sucks. Damn this fatigue. I'd say I'm only about a third as sharp as usual. <sighs> so anyway, the hell are we talking about? You saying something about making adults into sausages? What? Gonna pull out the organs, grind them up, make them into yummy, cruelty-free cuisine? And then you gather them up, sell them in a supermarket, and become an urban legend. Huh? Please, shut up. Now that sounds awesome. I want to see that. I want to see you shut up. <laughs> uh... Not at the first floor yet? This is an emergency ladder. Why'd it stop halfway? Oh my god, that whole. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, that is just beyond fucked up. Jeez, this half ass ladder. Who. who where, where is the person in charge? Probably dead. Looks like we gotta head back inside from here. <sighs> You're saying I have to walk through that dark place again? We're already on the second floor. Just a little bit further and we're out. I might actually be cheered up a little. I'm not the shrewish woman I used to be. Shrooms? N no, it is... Ugh. Oh my god, Tuck. <laughs> Come on. Yeah, you know what? I don't think I'll rely on you anytime soon. <laughs> It's gonna be all right. This is just the last hope, that's all. The last hope? That's not reassuring at all. C oh my god, Kamaru. <sighs> I'm not seeing anything. If it stays dark like this, my life is getting shorter and shorter. I can feel death behind me. Well, try holding out a bit longer then. Hmm. Okay. I was hoping that'd be a switch I can press, but I guess not. What's that over there? A power panel, right? Where? Oh! Wait, hold on. I'm gonna look around and see if there's any items I can pick up here. Computer there for some reason. Can I go through the door? No. Okay. Um, is there anything else around here, though? I guess not. All right, let's uh, activate this. Cutscene. <sighs> Finally, we're out of that horrible darkness. Yeah. All we gotta do now is get out of here. Oh fuck! <laughs> Uh, Toko? Oh god. Toko EXE has stopped working. A fucking challenge again? A challenge? Toko? Again? Toko? You okay, girl? Challenge. Find the light in the darkness. If you type in the password on that laptop on the counter, the shutter should open. Well, that explains why the door's closed. I feel like we've done something like this before. Leave it to me. I'm in my element. I, the Riddle Queen. Oh my god, Kamara, the ultimate riddle. Why would you want to give yourself such an embarrassing title? <laughs> oh. The light in the darkness. It's probably a riddle that has to do with light. Obviously. But does the room next door have something to do with it? What the? S -s square? In a square. 
Hmm. Maybe it's in the other room. Just kind of looking around, seeing if there's anything else in here. I'm not seeing anything, so maybe that the power's on. Maybe there's something in the other room. Be something in this room. Well, it's certainly Let's much get brighter. Over with. Pick up your pace. Oh, hey. Hey, what are you making it dark for? You're doing it just to mess with me, aren't you? It, it's not like that. What the? Huh. That's neat. Hmm. 251907. I wonder. Do I have to make those six digit numbers four digits? What do I have to do? Okay, I'm sorry, but how many times am I going to have to tell you to use the damn detect? Hmm. Okay. Need to get rid of two numbers, right? So if I get this right, I need to remove the two numbers in the middle. So the answer would be 2507. Right? Uh, 2507. Oh, fucking hell. I knew it was wrong. Probably shouldn't have just made something. I didn't make anything up. I was thinking. Um, hmm. Wait, maybe it's two one nine two one nine seven. Okay, let's try that one. Two one nine seven. Let's try that one. Two one nine seven. Got it. Yay! There's no riddle I can't solve. Even though that time I kind of screwed up the first it with the first answer. Yeah, calm down, lady. You only solved a child's riddle. A child's riddle I clearly fell for. I guess I didn't tell you why I'm afraid of the dark. It's not a happy story. Well, if it's something heavy, maybe I'll pass on the story for now. I, I see. But I want to know why you're scared of the dark. <sighs> oh, God. <sighs> oh, I see what I need to do. Night. I'm surprised that worked. Even though I probably did it in the wrong way. <sighs> A single Monokuma. Letter from a Toa Toa a Toa Tower employee number four. Not the bag. Oh. Oh fuck me. Yeah, I like it's not like pressing enough. Just gotta recharge on the battery. Ugh. If you want to get past, you gotta win at hide and seek. The one hiding is a good singer. Songs are good. 
and when that song is sung, Beast Monokuma goes crazy. But when the song ends, Beast Monokuma overheats, kablooey! <laughs> New technology can sure be sketchy at times, huh? Hmm. It's time for a tutorial once again! Now this is a really dangerous room with lots of Beast Monokumas lurking around. It appears the Beast Monokumas are controlled by the children's song. That's troubling. But don't be afraid! As long as you can find the singing child, you can disable all the Beast Monokumas. The Iron Maiden, shaped like a Monokuma, aka Monokuma Maiden, is where the child is hiding. However, choose the wrong one and you'll get jumped by a Beast Monokuma! So look for the correct Maiden while you try to avoid the roaming Beast Monokumas. Beast Monokumas move in a specific pattern, so it would be go a good idea to figure out that out. Ugh. Also, when you're looking for the right one, you should trust the kid's singing voice. There's also a visual guide that will give you a good idea of where the singer is. Oh. So you don't have to fight against those Beast Monokumas if you find the singing kid. I'm guessing the Beast Monokumas must be the most powerful of them, I guess. It's a pain in the ass, but it's better than fighting against them. Not to mention, I just kind of destroyed them with Genocide Jack's uh, freaking scissor spirit bomb. Alright, show me what you got. They're all over the place. It's safer just to look for the hidden brat. Okay, I see. When mu they go on a cer Oh, okay, I figured out the pattern. Let's see, is this one this one's far Be away? Be careful so we don't get caught. This one. Maybe it was that one. Yeah, it's not this one. Not this one. Found it! The Monokuma's overheated! Break them all! No mercy! Yes, ma'am! Right. They go down a single hit. Goodbye! Worth it. <sighs> With this, we can get outside, right? Nothing nope. to worry about now, right? Nope, I want the item first. The ghost that wants to die. Taro jumped off the roof of the kindergarten, saying he no longer wanted to live. That's fucking dark. But now he has to live as a ghost. The life of a ghost is pretty hard. Even though he wants it to end, it can't end. But Taro had an idea. Let's just change the meaning to of live. And to do that, Taro made a very strange move. Which reminds me. Hey, Toko, are you afraid of the dark because you're scared of ghosts? Are you serious? There's no way I'd believe in ghosts and all that paranormal stuff. Hmm. I may be liberal arts to the core, but I'm capable of thinking logically. But then why are you afraid of the dark? <sighs> you sure come gouging at me. <gasps> Gouging? Are you an idiot? Gouging at my brain to force me to remember my trauma. The reason I'm afraid of the dark is because of an experience I had, locked up in a dark place. <laughs> oh, you did something bad so you got locked inside the closet? 
That happened to me as a kid too. It's so narrow and dark, it really is scary, huh? Don't mess with me. This is me we're talking about? My story is way more traumatic than that. I was locked up in a place I didn't even know for three days and three nights. Aww. Free three days? This is the worst. And not even a crumb of bread to eat. Ever since then, my mind connects dark and trauma subconsciously. Ugh. Ugh, just thinking about it now is giving me goosebumps. Um, Why were you locked up? And who did that to you? Uh, uh, remembering it is just... Sorry. Sorry. I shouldn't have asked. Huh. Well, I feel bad for you, Toko. Okay. We have ourselves a lot of freaking ball monokumas. So how do I do this properly? Hmm. Okay, there's gotta be some way of doing this properly. That worked. Oh my god, I got a backwards eye shot. Hell yeah! Don't mind me, Ball Monica. Oh, come on! Damn it. Revenge! Oh, shit. I must not die. What in the world is going on? There's not enough information out there to say for sure. But I know one thing. I have to make it out of this town. Until I know for sure that my wife and child are safe, I can't die. As a husband. As a father. I haven't done my job yet. If I die here, I can't give my wife and my beautiful child the life they deserve. Oh. Uh... Damn it! Fucking <sighs> Christ, just keep reminding me of all my failures to protect the people I like! Uh, is there something around here that I'm missing? Oh, it doesn't look like it. <sighs> oh, there's a. I'll at least take those bullets. Is there anything else I missed? No. Nah, I'm just basically depressed. <sighs> Damn it. Now I'm tired. It's a good thing we got out of there okay. Being trapped? And that sudden blackout? What's with that? It's those brats, obviously. They found out we contacted Future Foundation somehow. That's why they interrupted the communication. Yeah. After that, we... We really won't be able to contact Future Foundation ever again. Will Makoto come save us? Like I told you, he can't! If Future Foundation shows up, Master will be in danger. that I'm in danger? I'm just a regular girl. I'm not part of Future Foundation or Hope's Peak or anything. Yap all you want. You can't change the facts. Hmm. Toko, what you said earlier, you weren't serious, were you? What do you mean? You said you were going to kill me. If you're going to just go ahead and summon Future Foundation, I will prevent it. So you were serious. Yeah. That's right, I am serious. I will do anything for the sake of my master. So you'd even kill your friends? <laughs> what? Friends? Did you think I'd feel differently if you started using the word friend? Oh god. Don't even try it. I won't be fooled. But, but that's horrible. 
I didn't mean it that way at all. I really, I really do trust you. And then Hendrix himself came to my live concert three times! In my dreams, anyway. Okay, you gave me another reason to hate you. You just interrupted a very important moment, you asshole. What? You didn't think I'd still be talking? Well, guess what? I'm still talking! Could you stop breaking the fourth wall, you ignorant bear? Hey, by the way, when is that neat party with the pool of blood and hell gonna start? That's actually next Tuesday, sir. This is gonna be a once in a century event. I'd go even if I had to pawn off my wife for a ticket. Who the fuck would marry you? <laughs> Massacre! Bonsai! Oh God, you're making my ears bleed. M to the A to the motherfucking Sakura. <laughs> okay, you got a little bit of a laugh out of me. I'll admit that. <laughs> oh yeah! Massacre, what an awesome word! It's downright magical! It has a great ring to it, a beat to it, the beatbox beating on my heart! <coughs> what the fuck? <laughs> so yeah, anyway, Hendrix was like... Shut up! Hey, how much longer are you gonna talk? Hey, you can't stop me! I'd kill you! My fans would kill you! What fans? Well, maybe I just have to win you over. Should I go help a granny cross the street or something? As long as the granny is still alive by the time you get to the other side, yes. Jeez, that's ejecting into my witty banter, you high bastard. Horrific idiot! <laughs> oh my god. Never mind, just be quiet. <laughs> oh. Oh, oh god, you actually- oh my god, it actually worked! I figured it would be a good idea to ask for advice every once in a while, but I guess not. You may be our advisor, but I really cannot stand all the noise every single time. Advisor? We already have great ideas for hurting the adults, so we can get rid of him if we want. Please get rid of him! We've already lost so many of our friends. Let's just keep him in silent mode, hmm? Oh, you're so nice, Monica! In that case, I have no objections! If Monica is fine with it, so am I. Now, let's hear about this plan of yours, Nagisa. How are we gonna annihilate the Resistance? How do you even know where the hell they are? Simple, really. We crush their secret base. Again, how do you know where they are? Huh? Did you find out where it is? Yes. If we ambush the place they believe to be safe, they will panic and be flushed out. Like ants who've lost their nest, they will wander aimlessly above ground. And in that weakened state, we crush every last one of them. The resistance dies with them. Ooh, Nagisa! How vulgar! If you weren't on our side, I'd totally pee my pants in fear! Of course, we have every right to kill them. They've quite earned their fate. You know what? Uh... Oh my god. Part of me wants to say, considering what happened to Toko, I can understand why they would want to kill adults, but there are some innocent adults who wouldn't, who would never do something that horrific. I mean, sure, the adults that they'd have to Kotoko Kot Kot deserve to be fucking ripped to shreds, but not all adults are like that. Yep, yep, right! As expected of our new leader, you sure have a good plan, Meow. But instead of right to kill them, isn't it more like duty? Huh? We promised Big Sis Junko that the Warriors of Hope will annihilate the demons. Woo! Woo! Nagisa and Monica are so vulgar, so cool! There's no way I can lose now! I gotta work hard and hunt, hunt, hunt down those demons! <laughs> Even though our team is missing a few members, we're really getting pumped up. Right? 
You guys think so too, yeah? Oh, for sure! I agree so hard my nodding looks like headbanging! Hey, you're supposed to be in silent mode. Shut the fuck up. Coming up with that bitchin' plan all without your advisor? You sure have grown. Whoops. I didn't mean like grown like in the adult way. You guys wouldn't like that. It's like complimenting a ninja for standing out so much. <laughs> fuck, okay, he got me to laugh twice. Woo! That was a close one. Damn close. Hey. Why are you talking? Monica didn't give you permission. Aw, oh, be easy on me, Nagy, sir. Monica brought it up. Didn't you hear her say, you guys think so? Obviously, I am included in there. Right, Monica? Hmm? I didn't mean that at all. Dun dun dun! <laughs> Hold up! It's true that I may have chatted just a little too much. May? But talking is like my whole purpose in life. If you tell me to shut up again, I'll die! Shut up, 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 shut up! Die, I tell ya! Probably, definitely, no, seriously, gonna die! Jeez, you're hopeless. Fine. Just keep it down, okay? Damn it! <laughs> I ain't gonna say thank you. Aw, oh, gee. I sure hope there's no one in your group that can read minds. Don't want to say a lie that's gonna get sniffed right out. <laughs> oh, yeah. Seriously. Hello. I apologize for being late again, everyone. Oh, god damn it, no. <laughs> Why? Not you again. Sup, hey, bitches? Hey, hey. Where the hell have you been? You totally missed my hilarious dialogue! Oh, I'm sorry. I'm... That's actually a good thing that I missed that. I was running an errand for our Miss Fighter. It sure was difficult finding sweet chestnuts. Are these chestnuts properly peeled? I'm sorry? No. Why? What are you, nuts? This is downright nuts! For peeled nuts! Unpeeled nuts are like a completely different food! Uh, no, they're not. Ah, as expected of the great Miss Actress, your orders are quite detailed. It actually depends on what kind of nuts that you're eating. Hey, even if you're our servant, you keep bringing up ancient history and I'll kill you. Oof. Sorry, sorry. I'll peel the nuts for you. Forgive me. Guess I have no choice. I'll forgive you. I'm expecting her halfway to immediately just say, no, nah, and then kick her right in the nuts, probably. But... I don't know, I kind of... <laughs> as much as I don't really... As much as I'm terrified of these children, I'm ha I really suddenly want to see her kick Nagito in the nuts. Not! Fucking hell, I called it. Or not. Take this! What? Take this! Useless servants deserve what? to end what? <laughs> good, good. Go for it. Where the hell did they get all these sweets? Uh, this is trouble. I prefer salty things to sweet ones. <laughs> what the fuck? Hey, where are you going? You kind of screwed up the social link, so she probably hates you now. It has nothing to do with you. Nothing to do with me. You've got some nerve saying that while doing nothing on your own. Nothing? You think I've done nothing? It's true that you've saved me a lot, but I've been working hard too, you know? Saying that I haven't done anything? That's too far! <laughs> what do you want? You want me to praise you? You want me to say thank you? Too bad. I've never praised or thanked anyone my whole life. And that's why you don't have any friends! Damn! What? Leave me alone! I... I like being by myself. No, you don't. Rather than tagging along with someone like you, I'd be better off dying a solitary death. No, you don't mean that. Someone like me? Meaning what? Someone who always has an excuse. A coward. 
Using that word normal as an excuse, always getting help from others. You're the type of person who always says, there's nothing I can do about it, right? Well, to be fair, you... you... <sighs> you are nothing like your brother. Well, it's not like I really acknowledged him either. Fine. Where are you going? To find Shirakuma. You can go back to that dump if you want. It won't make any difference. Better than being here. Jeez. You don't have to come with me. Unfortunately, I can't do that. I have my reasons. That doesn't make any sense at all. Jeez. Talk about a really, just a freaking serious fallout there. I was just walking over here to see if I can find an item. I didn't actually expect to find an item. Oh! <sighs> Demon name, Tai Chin Chin. Chin Chin, double chin. Real name, Taichi Fujisaki. A smarty pants demon with short curly hair. It's not really strong, but it's super smart to make up for it. Hunting around machines is not a good hunting around machines is not a good idea. It's pretty serious, but it's still just a demon. I'd use my sexy charm to trick him. Okay. Hunting grounds to a tower. Damn it. I can't bond with anybody in this, can I? Is there anything else around here? I'm just kind of looking around. Well, hot damn, I see another item. Brimming girl power. Healing item effect plus one. You know what? I'll take it. Yeah, I still don't know what despair time is. <sighs> I'm pretty sure I'll explain it sometime. Hopefully. Okay, never mind. Well, bye, despair tower. place I can stop right now. I mean, it's a ter it's actually a very terrible place for me to stop considering what's going on between Toko and Fuka and Toko and um Komaru. Oh my god, though. <sighs> oh, holy shit, it's all filled up. Um No, holy shit, Makoto's there. Makoto Nagi likes curry, likes trendy things. Dislikes dried mackerel and dried bean curd. Huh. Former student of the Hope to Speak Academy and older brother of Kamaru Nayagi. By defeating the ultimate despair during the school, school killing incident, he earned the title of Ultimate Hope. Ugh. Taichi Fujisaki. Man who Kamaru and Toko met at Toa Tower. Was killed by a beast Monokuma after activating the elevator. His only regret is not being able to see his child one last time. Likes. Laptop. Likes his child. Dislikes snakes and frogs. Okay, even you got put in here. Likes good vibes. Likes dope things. Dislikes whack things. Dislikes shit rhymes. Bear-shaped robot who pushed the idea of killing all the adults. Wears gold accessories to be more hip-hop. A rapid-fire talker who doesn't shut up once he starts talking. Well, that's a shame he doesn't shut up. Wow, it's all filled up here? So there's not going to be any more new characters arriving? Huh. Well then. Freaking just tear me up inside, asshole. I'm calling the game an asshole, but... Oh god, that that was... That was just... Ugh. Too many things happened. 
Uh, and I learned something about Kotoko that I just didn't. Uh, oh God, makes me want to go on an evil, oh, more like an evil demon killing spree. That that sounded incredibly horrible of me, but people like that don't deserve to live. Which is what I'm probably guessing what they're thinking. Or rather along, they're going along the lines of any adult is. Because because this adult did this, that means all adults are evil. Which I'm guessing that's what Junko must have put into their mindset. But I think, okay, from what I could see, Monica is obviously the brains of the operation. Obviously. But I'm guessing that she was the one Junko spent the most time with if I had to take a guess. Kind of trying to create a, a mini Junko, we could say. Anyway, that's... On that sad note, that's where I'm going to end it, so... If you guys like this, be sure to let me know. That was... painful. Very painful and... almost vomit-inducing, I must admit. But if you guys like this, be sure to let me know. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video.